What's going on guys? Today I have $300 in cash and I'm at a vintage mobile market here in Orlando, Florida. They do this once a month and I'm on a mission to try to find some vintage t-shirts that I can flip online for a profit. Now most of these guys that are here, they have their booth set up, they're grinding, they're hustling, they're doing what they can to make their money. A lot of these guys get their stuff thrifting, going in the bins and stuff, so they know what their stuff is worth. This is not a thrift store, I will be paying up, but I'm looking to see if I can find a couple of items that they're looking to unload and flip for a little bit of a profit. It won't won't be a dollar into a hundred dollars, but I have always been able to find some good deals here and make good connections. So let's get in there and see what we can find. How's it going? I got four tees. So 20 bucks? Yeah. Can you guys make change for 100? No. I don't think so. Okay, I could do Venmo or, or Zelle or anything like that. Okay. We're good. All right, thank you. Thanks, man. Yep. I'll stop by again. There's just a lot of people, sure. so yeah, a lot of people. hope you make a bunch of sales, man. Thank you. 
blows. All the big face rolly, I got two of those. All my the window through the city, I'm in the snow. Cut back, snap back, see my cut through the holes. Go. This your booth? Yeah. Man. Oh, I got seven here. So you think you could do five each for seven? So 35? I could do 40. 40? I think it would have been 40. I think it would have been like 50. Six. Yeah, yeah, six. Okay, 40 works. 40 works. I can do cash or I need those apps. Okay, I got cash for you. I could do a, not as good as deal, but similar deal to this rack too. Okay. Just because there's a little bit better ones in there, but I could do something similar. All right, well, let me look then real quick. Can I set these on the chair? Yeah. Okay. So my first trip back to my car, because I didn't bring an Ikea bag, was successful. I'm going to go back and get more. I think I've spent 100 bucks so far, which is killer for all this. So this vendor had some really loud music at their booth, and I wasn't allowed to play it, but there was a pair of Carhartt pants right here, and they were a relaxed fit, newer model. They were size 44, but they were in a $5 pile on the ground, so for 5 bucks, I'll take Carhartt pants all day. Those should sell for anywhere from 25 to 30 bucks. So I hand him the money and go over to this next booth where they've got like a big Ikea bag full of clothes, which isn't as easy to look through, but I managed to find a couple of things. I found this Nike Hoops jersey right here. It's like a men's size medium. I've sold these before for like 25 bucks. So for a $5 pile, definitely can uh, make some profit on that. And then I'm digging through the rest of the bag right here, and I'm not finding much. This is a Disney Castaway shirt, which you'll see later in the video. A newer version of a Disney shirt, not vintage or anything, but for a couple bucks, I'll take it. I got four from the uh, the bin up front there. Okay, so, um, so yeah, 15. And then as I'm checking out here, the music came on again, but uh, I started negotiating with this guy because his prices said... Uh, one for five or three for ten and I got four pieces So I was trying to see if he would give me the last shirt for the same price as the three for ten since I was getting four shirts And uh, he ended up coming to down to twelve dollars So I was able to give him twelve dollars for four shirts Which comes out to three dollars each versus the five dollars individually So I like to negotiate a little bit with some of these guys and just see what they say Sometimes it's just fun. It's part of the process and negotiating if they would have stuck to five dollars I still would have paid it, but I enjoy that part
the side? No, no. Okay. All right, I got three. So 15? 15, yeah. Okay. You guys break 100 by chance? If not, I can do one of these. I can't believe no one took this. I know. It's like so close to Christmas though. You gotta like, you gotta sell it today pretty much. Take these three off of you. Awesome. How do you want to play? Um, unless you can break a hundred, I could do uh, Venmo. I can break a hundred. You can? Yeah. Sweet. Nobody else has. It's like I only got eight bucks left. So. Some dude bought a ton of stuff for me this morning. Oh and yeah. Paid in all cash. So. Nice. So one, two, three, four, and then I can throw you a five still. Okay. I'd rather have the bigger bills. It's easier hey, to handle. Hey, cool, yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> yep. Thanks, man. Thank you. It's, it's off right now because I'm trying not to show people's face, just the stuff that I'm pulling. But <laughs> Yeah, well, not for the event, just for my YouTube channel. Yeah, there you go. Okay, thank you. You too. My channel's called Profit Monsters. Profit Monsters. Profit Monsters, yeah, yeah. Would you take 10 on the vest? Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, no problem. What's that? Okay, please do. Please do. No, no, no. Just, just videos. Just like reselling, thrifting, stuff like that. We got cash back too. Okay, yeah, that'll work. Cool. Thank you so much. asking on this yeah i didn't i didn't see a, uh, a tag on it yeah okay no problem yeah no problem i'll look around the profit monster himself yo what's up my man Good, bro. how are you i was wondering why you weren't over with uh supreme yeah, yeah cream because uh, uh, we both ended up getting our own boots finally yeah you got a lot of stuff oh yeah yeah the winnie the Pooh jacket how much uh, you got on 60. that 60 bucks 60, yeah. that's a pretty good price what i can't remember <laughs> Hi right, man, I got a couple pieces. Can you come work me out a little deal here? Twenty. Forty. Forty bucks. Sounds good to me. You got to pay the fees on that though. Oh. No, just for you. I'll pay the fees. <laughs> Appreciate you, man. <laughs>
good. Two dollars a piece. Yeah, some are pretty rough. Oh, that one's sick. Yeah. <laughs> Corduroy hats. Uh huh. Interstate batteries. Hard rock. Friendlies. <laughs> That's cool. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, 33, 34. So six, that's 68. How many? 34. 34? Yeah. 34 times two. Yeah, 68. I'll call it 60 for you. 60 bucks? Yep. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. You have the boxes too. Well. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. And then, I don't know if you want those. Yeah, yeah, I'm interested tees. in these tees. All right, so 60 and then five on these. 70. Okay. Let's see if I have. Can you make change for a hundred? Uh, I probably do. Let me check. Um, yep. Sweet. Oh. Cool, man. Oh, Appreciate wait. you. Uh, oh yeah, that's a yeah, yeah. My fault. I thought. It no, was no, no. Fine. You're good. You're good. You're good. <laughs> you're good. All right. Cool. Yeah, Appreciate man. Appreciate you. you. So my GoPro died at the Vintage Mobile Market at one of those booths, but I wanted to show you guys kind of a little bit of what I got. Uh, I ended up picking up some Carhartt pants, pretty big men's size, but I only paid $5 for them. They should sell for easy 20. I got a really cool vintage Disney crew neck, this, uh, Cadillac golf. I think it's Greg Norman though. Uh, but golf like zip up vest should sell really well. I got a Pendleton Pearl snap for $5. I got that Harley Davidson fleece for 10 Detroit Pistons crew neck for 10. Uh, this is a blank russell vintage crew neck those sell pretty well i got a uh, that was five dollars this nike hoodie i sell these all day for like 35 40 bucks that was five dollars and then i got harley tees disney tees and then some like sports and random tees all pretty much from five dollar bins i was looking for cheap stuff today i don't collect high-end stuff uh so everything you saw i pretty much paid five dollars for uh, there was one bin, uh, my buddy Geo JG, JG Retro uh, or JG Vintage, he's changed his name. Um, I got like $8 a shirt from him, but uh, yeah, we got some pretty cool graphics, so let's go through some of them real quick. We got uh, Harley Davidson, Sylvester's Harley Davidson. Uh, this is genuine Harley. Most of these have back graphics as well. Harley tees sell really well for me, and I enjoy picking them up. This one was like Live, Love, Scream, and Eagle. Uh, Harley Davidson, Windy City, Chicago. That one's cool. Biketoberfest, 2004. Uh, Daytona Beach right there. Then we've got this Harley, Battle, Battleborn. Then moving on to some Disney pieces here. We got the Mickey Steamboat Willie. We got the Dalmatians. We got an Animal Kingdom. I can't believe this shirt was in a $5 bin. It's probably a $35, $40 shirt all day. The Three Caballeros, this is uh, Castaway Bay Club uh, for Disney right here in the Bahamas. That's for Disney Cruise Line members only. We got a classic Mickey, a 50th anniversary Disneyland, a women's Cinderella shirt where glass slippers always fit. We got a Heroes vs. Villains shirt. I've sold this one before. We got a Mickey Daytona 500 shirt. We got a Mickey sweater. We got a Florida Mickey, like all, not most valuable, MVM, most valuable mouse. This is like one of those sequin vintage Disney shirts on a uh, character fashions tag. So that's like 80s. We got a dead stock Velvachin tag, Mickey Unlimited, Florida, like neon colors. We got a Mickey's Retreat shirt right here. Pretty cool. This one was from Geo's booth. So I think I paid eight bucks for this one. It's got like the Mickey's all over it all the way down the shirt, probably a $40 shirt. We got the Mickey, Pluto, and Minnie shirt. We got a goofy front and back shirt. And then here's some of the random stuff. We got a US Army piece, a Dunk You vintage Nike team shirt, a Kiss shirt, oh, that's like a Raglan baseball sleeve, a tie-dye Chicago Cub shirt, an all over print Iron Man shirt, a Patagonia long sleeve, a Reebok Philadelphia Eagle shirt, a buck shirt, another really cool Eagles, Philadelphia Eagles shirt. Probably my favorite shirt of the uh, the day was this I Survived Montu Bush Gardens shirt. Uh, that one is crazy. This is, I believe, an Undertaker WWE wrestling shirt. 
a really cool Florida Gator shirt, a like Rasta Man tie dye shirt, a vintage Red Sox shirt, pretty cool, a Nike Hoops like jersey. Uh, this is a Youth XL, but it's going to fit like an adult medium. I've sold those multiple times on Poshmark. Uh, Metallica, and then I thought this was cool. Ohio State Buckeyes, Star Wars, The Force is with us. Jesus is the Wind Beneath My Wings vintage shirt. The Dallas Cowboys, like a uh, long sleeve, big print shirt. And then a tie dye Dale Earnhardt NASCAR shirt. So pretty much all from $5 bins, a couple from like $8 piles, but overall some really cool pieces. Plus, you guys saw the hats that I picked up, and I am currently soaking those in OxyClean right here. The ones that needed to be cleaned are soaking in OxyClean right now. And then I have the rest of them in my uh, office ready to be photographed and listed. Some of the better hats are soaking in the OxyClean, but I just wanted to show you, uh, this is probably about maybe a little less than half of what I got. So we got Florida Gators, Kiwanis, international hat. We got an Alaska hat. This one's pretty cool with the wolves on it. We got the Ford Quality Care racing hat, Cheerios NASCAR hat, we got a Friendly's Racing hat, uh, Dale Earnhardt Jr. hat. Uh, this is uh, Michigan Trojans, I think. Uh, this one's pretty cool. If you know anything about this, let me know. I am led to believe that this is NFL um, Eagles, but I don't really know. It's pretty old, uh, made in Bangladesh. It's the double snapback, So, and it's like a wool hat. So anyway, pretty cool. If it's not Philadelphia Eagles... It's still a cool hat. Uh, we got a Corduroy Golf Providence Terminal Epcot Test Track hat. That one's probably worth 20, 25 bucks by itself. We got a White Sox fitted hat, a Statue of Liberty New York hat, a Dallas Cowboys like new hat. This has got to be another on-field NFL. They had a $10 price tag on this one, but I mean, this got to be a $15, $20 hat online. And then uh, Teamsters, like local uh, snapback hat, vintage, whatever that is. And then a 1999 Super Bowl hat, uh, Logo Athletic, new with tags. So those are just some of the hats, guys. And I got a bunch more uh, that are soaking, which are really cool. I have all of the other hats that I purchased laid out from cleaning them. They came out pretty good after soaking in OxyClean for a little bit. This one still has a couple marks on it, but I didn't expect them to come out perfect. This one's my favorite, uh, the Tasmanian Devil Dallas Cowboys. We got a really cool faded Dale Earnhardt hat. This is a, uh, I think, Louisville hockey team, UCF, the Lightning, Interstate Batteries. We got a uh, Hard Rock Cafe in the back, the Orioles. There's the Friendlies Racing you heard me laughing about. This is the one that I think is worth the most, this corduroy vintage snap-on hat. Um, potentially, I might run that on auction and see what happens, but I think that's worth more than the $60 that I paid for every hat. Just an Ohio hat Hoosier. I believe that's Pittsburgh Pirates. Uh, we got a cool Coca-Cola sports hat and then an ICU hat. So that's going to be it for the video, guys. Just wanted to show you the hats after I had cleaned them because there were some really good ones in here. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace, buddy!